To change a column title, right-click on either of the two gray rows at the top of the data sheet. A column parameters menu will now appear. Among other things, you can change the column titles from within this dialog box. The green arrows on either side of the column title allow you to select adjacent columns without closing and reopening the menu. The column parameters menu is also where we define what type of data is in a column. If we change this column type from vector symbols to text, the symbols and their colors are shown as textual values and edited accordingly. If we change it back to a vector symbol type, clicking on a cell will load a symbol selection menu. So, the data type determines not only how the data within a column is displayed, but what happens when a cell is clicked on. The UTM datum and zone appear on the right because we have coordinate columns that are designated as UTMs. Looking at the button labels, these UTMs are set to NAD83 Zone 13. If we change these columns to state plane coordinates, the program now needs to know what state zone we're in. This is very important if Rockworks is going to successfully convert the datasheet coordinates to the designated output coordinates as specified within the project settings. As described within an earlier exercise, the output coordinates are shown by clicking on the Settings Coordinates option. 